I know there's two engineers that need it, and uh, there's a bit you need. Uh, you need it. Did you email me? No, but I told them. Oh yeah, no you. But then sorry, you need a Moodle account. You don't. You need a Moodle account. No, don't look at her. Look at me. <laughs> Do you need? So there's a problem with it. Ah, so you need to email me. Email me your name and password, and I'll fix it for you. Okay. You know my email? <laughs> you don't know my email address? I'm shocked. What's my name? <laughs> You're the second person today to call me Mark, and I don't think I don't think I look anything like Mark. <laughs> You know my name, don't you, Starry? What is it? Yeah. Very good. So the email is Stephen <laughs> at D-I-F-C Dublin dot I-E. Okay. You think you can remember that? Yeah. Oh, good. Right. <laughs> Correct. Mark is business. <laughs> Stephen is Max. <laughs> I had one of the business students come up to me in the canteen and say, hello Mark. I'm like, <laughs> so do I, are you just mixing up my names or do I look like Mark? <laughs> yes, I think so. Are there any science students in this class or it's only business and engineering? No science students? Okay. So on Moodle, there's two courses, maths for business and maths for science, uh, maths for engineering. But for semester one, they're both the same worksheets. So it doesn't matter which page you use, okay? So what we're going to have a look at now There we go. Um, parallel and perpendicular. This in. There we go. Okay. So I'll explain these. I can't see. Yeah. Parallel and perpendicular. Okay. So just write those down first to start with. Um, I'm sure some people know the meaning of these words. Uh, does anyone want to try and give me the meaning of parallel? Yeah? Parallel lines are lines that never meet. Yeah. Almost. Uh, I know this definition is commonly used. Any other definition you can give? Yeah, true. Parallel lines, they, they don't meet. Having the same Having the same slope. Yeah. This is the idea. So parallel lines look like this. Now the reason, the reason I say this is because when I was in school I said the same thing and then my teacher said, ah, but what about these lines? Um, let me, actually, let me try and draw this. What way did he draw it? I know they're not really lines, but they're still uh, parallel. Um, no, not like this. Oh yeah, some, some, something like this just. This is parallel, but they meet. Uh, so, I kind of prefer the definition that says parallel lines, they have the same slope. Yeah. So, in other, whoops, in other words, 
parallel means if this is M1 and this is M2, then M1 equals M2. Okay. Now what about perpendicular? So someone, someone else now, give me a perpendicular. Like a right angle triangle? Right angle, doesn't have to be a triangle. Uh, no, uh, right uh, angle, yeah. So perpendicular means the lines are like this. And there's 90 degrees here. But does anyone know the relationship between the slopes? So if this is M1 and this is M2, how are they related? Yeah. M1 multiply M2 equals minus 1 for perpendicular and M1 equals M2 for parallel. Sometimes students mix these words up in the exam, which is understandable if English is your second language, but it's easy to tell the difference because if you look at the word parallel, the word parallel is parallel. Can you see that? So there should be no reason to mix the two in the exam, okay? So just write these notes down and then we'll have a look at some examples now. Um, this one, uh, it can be said a different way, which we'll talk about in a minute, but this is what we need here. So can you write all of this down and we'll have a look at some examples. Okay, can I scroll down? Yep. Okay. So let's have a look at our first example. We'll write this question down. Example. Uh, and actually, just before I do the example, let me just say what I was saying a moment ago. So if this line has slope 3, then this line has slope 3 as well. Now, the way it works with perpendicular, if this is 3, minus, minus, minus 1, one over 3. So the trick is. You flip it upside down and change the sign. So, for example, if this is 3 over 4, then this one is minus 4 over 3. So we can do this trick. Because when you multiply these, you do get minus 1 then. Right, let's have a look at our first example then. So, for example, the line... So, if you can write this down, our first example, the line L is parallel to the line K and contains the point A. Find L, the equation of L. So um, K, I tell you what K is, it's 5x minus 7y minus 3 equals 0 and I tell you what a is a is uh, 1 9 so I'll just draw very roughly what we have here um, I have the line L is parallel to K so let's say this is K here and um, this is L here and also L contains a so there's A here. So I give you this, and I give you this, and I want to know what the L is. And I tell you L is parallel to K, and L contains A. Okay, so I'm going to do this now in a minute. Just write this down, please.
Okay, you have this written down? Right, let's have a look at it. So, the first thing I should do, well, maybe someone can tell me, what should I do first? Make y the subject. Make y the subject in this equation. So we have, I'll just, I'll squeeze it here. 5x minus 7y minus 3 equals 0. So that means 5x minus 3 equals 7y. So 5 over 7x minus 3 over 7 equals y. So clearly m is... 5 over 7. So, if the slope here is 5 over 7, then the slope here must be 5 over 7. So that's good. We already have the M. So we are halfway finished. We know what the M is for the line. Y equals 5 over 7x plus C. So we are left to find C, and we can find C like how we did last time, by using a point. We only have one point here, which is A. So, using A now, 9 equals 5 over 7 times 1 plus C. So what's that? 58 over 7? So C equals 58 over 7. So my answer is Y equals 5 over 7 X plus 58 over 7. Okay, so write this down, this is our first example. So next we'll do one which is perpendicular. Uh, business students, did you have class at 9 o'clock? Yes, yeah. Okay, can I scroll down? Or you need a minute? Scroll? Yeah, okay. Right, next one. <laughs> Example again. The line L is perpendicular to the line K and contains point A. Find L. And this time uh, we'll make K is minus 8x minus 7y plus 1 equals 0 and A equals um, minus 5, 5. Okay, so this time, because this is so similar to the last example, I want you to try it first and then I'll do it. So see if you can do this one for me. So try this one now. Got it, Jeff? Yeah. yeah. This guy here now, he looks cold. 
Yeah. You got your hat, your scarf, and your coat on. What's 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 the temperature back home now? Uh, forty. Nice. <laughs> So that's a bit hotter than six. Yeah, yeah a, a little, little bit. bit. Just yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Okay, can we have a look at this one now? Yeah. Um, so, again, the first thing we should do is make y the subject. So we have minus 8x plus 1 equals 7y. So then minus 8 over 7x plus 1 over 7 equals y. So the slope is uh, uh, minus 8 over 7. Yeah, for, the, yeah, yeah, for yeah. this line. But this is not the slope we want because it's perpendicular. Mm -hmm. We should use 7, 7 over, over eight. 8 because it's perpendicular. Yeah. yeah. So we have y equals 7 over 8x plus c. Uh, or B, yeah. No, B is what they use in America, I know, yeah. instead of C. Uh, what is it in your home country? C or B? B. B. C. 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 In China, is it B or C? C. It's C? Okay. Um, so, we use this point here. Um, 5 equals 7 over 8 times minus 5 plus C. 5 equals <coughs> minus 35 over 8 plus C. So what's that, 5 over? No, it's a plus, isn't it? 75 over 8? Yes. C is 75 over 8. So I have my answer. Y equals 7 over 8X. Okay, I hope you got that one. Uh, but if not, you can write it down now. And we'll have a look at another one now. Okay. Can I scroll yeah. down? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So this time now, um, the... Uh, the line L contains A and is parallel to A, not A, sorry, BC. And by BC, I mean the line from B to C. And uh, let me draw what A, B, and C is. So uh, here is A. Let's put B here. And then let's, I don't know, put like C, something like here, for example. So let's say B is 520, C is 417, and A will say it's minus 4, minus 3. So what I have is, uh, I have a line from B to C, like this. And I have a line L, which is parallel to BC, and it contains A. So it's parallel to BC and it contains A. This is line L. It's parallel to this line, which is BC. B is 417. 417, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll do this in a couple of minutes, but I'd like you to try it to see if you can do it. Again, I want you to find L. See what you can come up with. Finished, yeah? Yeah. yeah.
All right. Shall we have a look at this now? We all have an answer. Um, so it's a little bit different. What do you need to do first this time? Yeah, you have to find the M for B to C, which is okay because you have a formula for that. Um, let's write it down here. So here, M would equal 20 minus 17 over 5 minus 4, which is just going to be 3. So actually, this isn't so bad now. We have Y equals MX plus C. Now, I cannot use any point. Which point must I use? A. No. A. 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 Has to be A. Why? Oh, because you won't have to. Like, think about point it. Down. If they have the same slope. Yeah, but why must I use the A to get C? Only A is on the line. B and C are on a different line, one we don't want. So, we use this point. Minus 3 equals 3 times minus 4 plus C. Minus 3 equals minus 12 plus C. C equals 9. Mm -hmm. Y equals 3X plus 9. That's the answer. Uh, right, okay, so that's that one. So if you can check your answer, and then I'll give you another one. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Can I scroll down? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Starry, you have this? Yeah. Yep. Right. So, um, I'll give you a similar one. Come on. Right, uh, let's put um, um, A here, minus 1, 1, B here, 2, 8, and then I don't know. Uh, draw that again a little neater. B here, 2, 8, and then C here, 5, 6. And we have this line which goes from B to C. <laughs> Let's try it again. B to C. And what I want now is the line which is perpendicular to BC and passes through uh, this red line here. This line we call, um, what did I call it last time? K, was it? Yeah. So this is K and I want L. And I tell you it's perpendicular. B is 2 points. Uh, 2 and 8. Okay. Yeah, that's an 8 there. 2 and 8.
Okay. This one is um, finished or nearly? Nearly. Yeah. Finished, yeah. Okay. So it's nearly the same except there's one extra step. After we calculate the m, we have to change it because it's perpendicular. So m here will be 8 minus 6 over 2 minus 5. What's that? Minus 2 over 3. So for this line, it's 3 over 2. Y equals mx plus c. We use the a here. 1 equals minus 3 over 2 plus c. So c equals 5 over 2. So y equals m x plus c, 5 over 2. Yeah. And this is the answer again. Okay, so if you make sure you got the right answer. If you didn't get it, write it down. And uh, let's see, I'll give you, um, I'll give you uh, one more to try. Could and then, yeah? Could you, you just repeat the last part? Uh, which part is that now? This uh, box? The finding c. Yeah, so what I did was I took my a and put it into this. So it was 1 equals 3 over 2. Oh, no, that's wrong. Is it? No, that's right. Sorry. The, sorry, this is the x, this is the y. The y is 1, the x is minus 1. Okay, that makes it minus 3 over 2. Yeah. So then c equals 1 plus 3 over 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, which is 5 over 2. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Right, let me give you another one now. Can I scroll down? Yeah. 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 6, 1, at B. And then I'll just draw the A here. I, uh, this isn't the scale, I know. Z uh, 9, 0. Well, at least I should draw yeah, it underneath. Well, yeah, I'll at least draw it underneath. Uh, 9, 0. So, uh, what I want... I'll just draw a line here. Um, I want the line which is perpendicular to this and contains A. So in other words, I want yeah. this one here, L, and it's perpendicular to the line A, B. Okay, try this one now. Find L. An answer? Mm -hmm. Yep. Very similar to the last question. Mm -hmm. Very similar. Uh, okay, so let's scroll down here. Uh, oops, I just went too far now. So first, I should get the m. Uh, so that would be one minus zero over six minus nine. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Uh, which will be <laughs> minus one over three. So. If this one is minus 1 over 3, this one here is 3. three. So I have y equals 3x plus c. A or b, which do I use? A. Has to be a, because only a is on the line. So if I put that in, I get 0 equals 3 times 9 plus c. C is minus 27. So, our answer is y equals 3x minus 27. Yeah. I hope you got that, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Now, I think what we'll do is, um, I'll give you the homework, but I'll let you work on it now for a few minutes, and this will give me a chance to check how you did last night with the first homework. Um, 
and then in a few minutes we'll start the next lesson. So for about 10 minutes you can start the next homework, which will be question, um, yeah, I'll write it down here. So, let's see, uh, we'll say 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A and B, and then 7A, B and C. Yeah, okay. So we'll make that the homework for the next lesson. You can start it now, and I'd like to just have a look at your notebook and how you're keeping your notes and all of that stuff. Okay. So you're keeping your notes in this, yeah? Let's have a look. Only maths in here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's all okay. Any trouble with the homework? Uh, no trouble, just the question. Yeah. Okay, I'll bring up the homework. Yeah, do you have it there on your room? Yeah. yeah. You have trouble with it as well? Yeah, we'll do this one in the tutorial on Monday if you just want to mark it in your notebook or something. Just then, find the equation of the last digit. No, I, just, no. I just didn't understand what they asked for. I know how they got it, but I just didn't understand Each what one they asked for. Yeah, so what I'm saying, there's a horizontal line yeah. through 17, 6. So because it's horizontal, it means y equals 6. It will always be 6, yeah? Yeah. That's yeah. why it will be y is equal to 6. Yeah. The okay. same for B, yeah? It'll be X equals 19. 19 yeah. vertical. It'll always yeah. be vertical. Yeah, yeah through that point. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, so that's okay. And then, let me see. You're keeping all your maths in this one, is yeah. it? Yeah. So, this should be okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that looks fine. Good stuff. Okay. So, just, just the same question as him from the whole Yeah, he really has trouble with it. So the answer would just be like x is equal to 19 because we'll always stay vertical on 19? You don't even have to say that. You can just give x equal to 19 and that's the finish. So we don't have to show any words? No, 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 no. Not for that one. Just straight to the answer for that one. Yeah. Okay. Can I see what you're keeping your maths in? Is it on... Are you going to put this in the folder, is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's fine. In something like this? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's okay. So all your maths going to be in one folder like that. Okay, that's good. And you're keeping all your maths in this notebook, is it? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, okay. So you have it by different mm -hmm. sections. Yeah. I see, okay. So the blue, one, this one here is for the last one. Yeah, okay, that's okay. Yeah, that's good. Now, what you might find will happen is some sections will fill up quicker than other sections. So I think the maths will be the most likely one to be full first. Um, so already, yes, you're making good progress on it. So uh, it might, you might want to have a different notebook for maths only because. I'm so good at different one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a cut and keep it like this. Okay, good. Yeah, so you have your subject files. Like yeah, yeah. So yeah. the maths you're putting the pages in here, then and you're you're writing it in this. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, that's it. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Now. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. This is it, <laughs> and you're going to take the page out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, let me think. Now, the only thing is, um, because you're putting it into something like this, it's likely that the pages might lose their order at some point. Mm -hmm. so you might want to date uh, things yeah. as well. Just it makes revision e uh, le uh, later easier. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Can we see what you're keeping your maps in? Is it this? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's not it. No? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, but for what are you keeping your notes in for class? So for class now you're using this. No? Yes? Oh, you have something else. Oh, I see. Okay, this is this is it. Yeah, well, it's not for us. No, I know. I just want to see how you're keeping your notes. Yeah, so this, your notes are in here. Yeah, it's not at all. I understand. I understand. Mm -hmm. So you're writing down the notes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
This? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. This is the page that I've been on, okay? Alright. Yes? Yes, this is the last question. Oh, yeah, you don't have to log in. Okay, I'll put more on the screen, I guess. Uh, first I have to open them. I don't know if you can read it okay because it's going to look pretty small, but tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. Let me just close.